Hey everyone, how's it going? Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Dylan here. Hope you're all doing well. Sitting here drinking my coffee. We have a big update from Mike Pence that I want to share with you all today. This is March 2nd, 2023. This is the big update with Mike Pence. Before we jump in, wanted to thank our sponsor, Birch Gold. Birch Gold is a company that helps individuals invest into gold and precious metals. They've partnered up with Ben Shapiro, Candace Owens, Larry Elder, Ron Paul, and us here at the Finance Zone. So if you've been thinking about converting your 401k or Roth IRA into a gold IRA, now you can. You can use our link below to look up more about Birch Gold. And also when you use our link, they're gonna send you a free 20 page info kit on gold so you can learn everything that you need to know about investing in gold. We all know how poorly the economy has been doing, how much inflation has been driving down the value of the US dollar. If you wanna invest in gold and precious metals in a tax sheltered savings account, you can using uh, our link below with Birch Gold. So Mike Pence has declined to support Trump if he's 2024 nominee. <laughs> Mike Pence continues to surprise me every, every day. He, I don't know who supports this man. I don't know who's buying his book. I don't know who's making him a multimillionaire because this dude's raking in money with his book sales. I don't know if it's Democrats just doing it to spite Trumpers or if it's very lukewarm conservatives who for some reason still support Pence. But Mike Pence came out and said this, quote, I'm confident we'll have better choices. Former vice president expected to run for a Republican nominee for president says, quote, different times call for different leadership. Mike Pence expected to run for Republican nominee for president. Are you kidding me? Twice given a chance to say he would support Donald Trump if he was the Republican nominee for president 2024. Mike Pence, Trump's former vice president, declined to do so. Pence told CBS, of course Mike Pence is doing interviews with CBS. He said, I'm very confident we'll have better choices come 2024, and I'm confident our standard bearer will win the day of November, in November of that year. Pence also said, quote, different times call for different leadership. Trump, the former South Carolina governor Nikki Haley and Vivek Ramaswamy, a biotech entrepreneur and author, are the only declared candidates for the Republican nomination. Oh, I didn't even know that Nikki Haley and Vivek, I've never even heard of Vivek, Ramaswamy. Do you guys know about Vivek Ramaswamy? Um, so right now it's Trump, Nikki Haley, Vivek um, are the only declared candidates for the public nomination. The Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, is widely expected to run and Trump's only challenger in polling. I wanted to bring up this new poll um, with, between basically Ron DeSantis and um, Donald J. Trump, yeah, there. I want actually. There's a new article that literally just came out saying that Ron DeSantis stands no chance against Donald Trump, and this was actually published by liberal news outlets Yahoo News and USA Today. They did a little collaboration. Um, we have new numbers, guys, that just came in with the 2024 polls, looking very, very good for Donald John Trump. Donald uh, Trump is uh, in the lead for the Republican nominee poll, well, well over Ron DeSantis. Um, so previously, DeSantis was leading Trump 45% to 41%. Now Trump leads 47% to 39%, a net swing of 12 percentage points in Trump's direction. The survey uh, was 1,500, 1,516 US adults. That was just conducted this past week, and those adults were Republican uh, vote registered voters and independents who lean Republican. So as you can see here, Donald J. Trump in the lead there, well over Ron DeSantis. Then you have Nikki Haley down there. Uh, Nikki Haley has four, Mike Pompeo three, Mike Pence two, Liz Cheney one, Donald Trump in the lead at 45, and Ron DeSantis 29. Liz Cheney's got one. I, if, if you're voting for Liz Cheney, I, I can't, I don't want to judge you guys, but um, if you're voting for Liz Cheney, I'm sorry, I might judge you a little bit. <laughs> uh, the movement is striking because outwardly little has transpired over the last three weeks to predict a, such a rapid shift in Trump's standing, yet it may be a combination of subtle factors that has propelled him back into, the, into his party's poll position. Look, Trump's been going out. He uh, There was a February, February 22 campaign stop in East Palestine, Ohio, 
the site of the February 3rd train derailment, a lull in the various probes into his business dealings. Um, so Trump has been flying around doing rallies. He obviously has been very active on social media again. And he is really the only candidate, in my opinion, who's uh, very serious about this job and very serious about wanting to lead the nation. I haven't really, I mean, Mike Pence just kind of going out there and saying, oh, well, there be, there'll be better choices. Like, yeah, it doesn't really bring you much confidence. It, com it comes, it does bring you confidence when you have a man like Donald John Trump, who is a patriot, who's a man, a prayerful man, who he, you know, he's, he has experience as a leader, as a businessman, and he's not a um, quote unquote, his, what is it called? A politician who's been in, a uh, career politician, I guess. You know, he was a he was a TV star, um, reality TV star, he, businessman, billionaire, and then he decided, you know what, I want to help fix this country, and so I think that's why most people like Donald John Trump. But I was talking with my friend the other day. Now, Ron DeSantis does pose a threat because you, when you have the, I guess, the more so lukewarm conservative. Republicans, your average Christian family who just likes conservative values, they're into big families, they're kind of more conservative, not liberal leaning, but they're not really involved in politics and they, for whatever reason, might think Trump's too controversial and they might say, well, Trump's too controversial. Oh, let me just, yeah, Ron DeSantis, he seems more younger, more trustworthy guy. I'll, I'll vote, I'll, you know. The media likes to really, really bag on Donald Trump. Everybody knows that. So might uh ron DeSantis might get those votes from people who are just your kind of average everyday uh conservative who just likes conservative values who isn't you know watching the news every day who isn't turned on fox who isn't watching newsmax who isn't like dialed in these there's there's a lot a lot of people who don't care about politics who don't know a thing about politics but they will go out and vote still and they're gonna say, oh, Ron DeSantis, yeah, he seems like a cool guy. So that's those those are the types of people who I think might lean more towards Ron DeSantis, but I don't know. For me personally, I think uh, having Donald Trump as the Republican nominee is a very, very good decision. And I'm glad that this poll is reflecting that. I'm glad their poll is reflecting that. I think it would be very, very fun and just, you know, it would be, uh, Pure entertainment. I'll keep watching <laughs> the news. Honestly, if Ron DeSantis, I mean, I'll still watch the news just to keep up to date with everything. But to be on, to be completely frank with you guys, I haven't been watching the news as much with Joe Biden because I just don't think he's very interesting. I don't know if you saw his recent interview or his recent uh, speech, but people are kind of making fun of him because um, if you if you look on Newsweek. They're actually the headline of today is that Democrats skip Joe Biden's speech. Joe Biden, uh, yeah, it's, they said, typically when the president of the United States speaks, it's something you clear your calendar to attend. That is, unless the other option is Joni Mitchell. Joe Biden gave one of the worst speeches of all time. <laughs> Talking, he, he tried to make a joke about Marjorie Taylor Greene. It was just really awkward. Let's listen. What about Social Security and Medicare? Well, are they safe? During the State of the Union, as some of you may have seen, I was... I'm sorry, but this, this guy is not like somebody I would consider like a great speaker or like a natural born leader. He's like, Oh, the state of the union, like he's literally, I'm literally, it's putting me to sleep. I'm sorry. I've been around for a lot of state of the unions. I never saw one where the president got to negotiate in the open with everybody. I was pleased to see so many Republicans stand up. Remember when Marjorie Taylor Greene was yelling, liar, liar, Biden's a liar. What? Wait, wait, wait. Did he just make the sign of the cross as a joke? No, he did not. No, he did not. I'm I would take offense to that if he did that. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Many Republicans stand up. Remember when 
Marjorie Taylor Greene was yelling, liar, liar. Do liar. not tell me he just made a sign of the cross as a joke. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. I have to turn this off. I'm done. I'm sorry. You know what? We still have to read the Bible. I'm sorry. I, I forgot that. We're gonna end with a Bible verse. And we're not gonna do that as a joke. This is actually serious. This just ruined my day. I was having a great morning. I got up early, started gardening in the sun because it was raining like crazy. I was trying to clean up uh, from this from the rainstorm, and then I took a little ice bath. I was having a great day, Bob's. And he, I, that's why I don't watch his speeches. <sighs> Let's hope in the Lord. We'll read Isaiah forty thirty one. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. That's Isaiah 40, 31. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Let us remember to renew our strength in the Lord today. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Go ahead and grab your free 20 page info kit on gold down below with Birch Gold. If you do so, it's a great way to support the channel, guys. Um, I don't usually ask for anything, but this is actually something that's totally free. You can do literally just type in your info, get it, and it helps us out. So I would really, really appreciate if you do that. Even if you have zero intention of investing, just check it out. Learn about gold, investing in gold and precious metals and grab it. You don't even have to read it. You can just sign up and it helps us out when you do that. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.